Hello, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Flash Pass on your mobile device once you actually get it purchased and you add it to your membership uh, through Six Flags. Alright, so first off, they're going to send you an email um, from tickets.sixflags.com and you're going to get a confirmation. I'm just going to be logging on this. I cut mine out so nobody could see it. You're going to take that order number. Uh, which is this one right here. It'd be 26 and then blah, 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 whatever number they give you, right? Order numbers. So copy that. And then you're going to take that and you're going to paste it into here. And with your email address that you registered on your account, you're going to sign in. Okay. And then once you sign in, you're going to be able to make a reservation, which will look like this. So you're going to set the day and it has to be 24 hours before the day. So like, Today's Tuesday, or today's Monday, so I can't reserve today, so it's grayed out. So I'm only able to do tomorrow. And I think if it's too late, this will actually gray out too. And it's, I really hope they change it. But um, I, this is where the name of the people are that have the flash pass. And you're going to put them in their groups, which is group, I usually just pick group A. It hasn't let me do anything more than that. And then when you, when you select everything here, you're going to hit continue. And then it's going to give you a reservation. And then when your reservation is there, the day of the park when you get there, you're going to go over to the Flash Pass. You're going to sign in. Oh, let me find that picture. Hold on. All right. Then, then you're going to sign into the Flash Pass. Maybe I'll, I'll put links down. Uh, you're going to sign into the Flash Pass with your username and password once you get signed up for that. And then you're going to you're going to go in there, and then you're going to I'll, hold on, let me see if I can pull it up for one second. Hold on. Okay, so then when you're actually in the Flash Pass, you're going to get a, you're over here, it'll say um, claim. It's going to say claim, uh, it's going to say claim something. Once you claim that, it'll give you the amount you're claiming, which is mine is four. Once you get in there, you'll log in, and then you'll see a screen like this on your mobile device. It'll look just like this on your mobile device. And then what you could do is you could go into each ride and then instead of saying buy the flash pass, this will say reserve. And depending on which flash pass you have, it'll tell you how many minutes you have until you can get on that ride. You can only do one at a time. So once you log in, you could do that. You can get everything working. Then when the park closes, it will basically blank all these out and it'll say closed for everything. So and just because something doesn't say uh something says can't reserve or close today that doesn't mean that it's actually closed it just means it's having an issue uh in the app and it or they're not using it for the flash pass for that day so any questions uh just ask me down below I mean, it took me a while to figure everything out they six flags isn't really very um helpful when it comes to showing you how to do everything like this so it's just a lot easier to do everything on your phone otherwise you got to go with the flash pass and get one of those wristbands that they give you, and you got to prove that you have a flash pass and everything. They'll just scan your badge. So, any questions, just ask below. All right, thanks.